Okay. Your absolute attention is required. Our target is the name of Owen Shell. I cannot stay here for long. I'll be expecting you. Please state your name and identification number for the records. My name is Alicia Adrian Ballet, TJI 2022AU3065. And your team name? No comment. Very well. Tell us, what is your category and which country are you representing? I'm from Co-Space Autonomous Driving U19 and representing the country of Australia. And what is your experience with Robocop Asia Pacific over the years? I have participated in RCAPS competitions every year since 2019 and represented Singapore until 2021. Hmm. Listen, Alicia. This has dragged on for far too long. We will be asking you some questions. And we expect you to answer them honestly. And if I don't want to? It isn't a request, Alicia. Now, give us a summary of the challenge you participated in. Alright, so, long story short. Our challenge was to program our virtual robot using the Cospace Autonomous Driving Software to pass by checkpoints and line follow along the roads of a map provided to us in the shortest possible time. Is that all? Mm-hmm. So, what were these methods and strategies you used? I mainly used the graphic user interface and its advanced actions and conditions to complete this challenge. I tried using previous algorithms that I, that I have used in the past, but I had lost valuable files in the last few months. Unfortunate. And what of your results? I managed to reach a timing of 48 seconds. What can you conclude from it? Well, I had to sacrifice a bit of my bot's stability for the sake of speed. Heck, I'd even consider those 48 seconds lucky. Elaborate on how... luck plays a part in it. Hmm... Well, if I were to restart the run, it would rarely be 48 seconds, and we're talking scores that range between 49 to 51 seconds. It's not always the same outcome every time. Interesting. Now upon further inspection of the footage of your game, you were able to drive down a road without the use of lines. Why don't you tell us how you've done it? Ah, uh, well, it's simple. You would need a variable with an initial value, let's say, like, zero, and ensure that every line following command has the condition where, um, let's say, our variable no road equals equals zero. Ensure that you have a default command of moving forward for the bot, then you create, like, an entrance queue, for example, the color cyan was my entrance queue for this map. In the entrance queue, I made it so that once it detects cyan, our no road variable becomes one, and thus our line following commands have been stopped, since they only become, quote, activated 
under the condition that no road equals equals zero. Of course, now with the robot only programmed to move forward by default, we gotta create safety features, right? Ah, <sighs> uh, good conversation. Uh, actually, no, that was a great conversation, man. Thanks. Anyway, with the white edges of this particular road thicker than the rest of the map, a good idea is using it to our advantage. And make it so that whenever the robot detects the white edge, it slowly turns away from it and continues to move forward. Eventually, the robot would make it to the end. Here, we would create an exit queue. For example, the magenta at the end, where the robot would detect the color then make our variable no road equal back to zero. Then, the robot goes back to line following. Thank you for your response. The following footage is of your preliminary game. Why don't you narrate your game for us? Hmm. Alright, I can't guarantee a good quality narration, but let's, let's give this a try. So you run the program and the robot makes it into the first checkpoint. Then it should make its way down to the um, roads with no lines. There it goes. And it should make um, a right turn into the third. No, that's the second checkpoint. Whoops. And it should go straight. I programmed it to go straight when it sees when it detects those um, colors on the road. And on the third checkpoint, it should make a U-turn. There it goes into the fourth um, into the fourth checkpoint. And it should turn right and turn left into the second last checkpoint. And there should be a purple down there, and it makes it right. And there it goes, then it makes another left upon detecting blue, and oh my goodness, it nearly fell off. But we're fine. Last checkpoint, and we made it to the end. <laughs> Forgive me that it's if it's not exactly National Geographic documentary David Attenborough um, narration, like, but, <laughs> you know, I try my best. Thank you. So... You are a part of Coast Space Autonomous Driving, yes? That is correct. Then tell us. Tell us more about driverless cars. Actual autonomous driving. How do they work? And how exactly can you use knowledge you have gained to help these machines do a better job? Well, truthfully speaking, I don't think what I have to say about actual autonomous driving has any merit in terms of helping the current driverless cars, in your words, do a better job. But I can tell you about the cars themselves. Autonomous cars rely on sensors, complex algorithms, and machine learning to navigate around the surroundings and maintain a map of it. These sensors would detect the position of nearby vehicles, and video cameras would detect traffic lights, road signs, and pedestrians. In fact, Google actually started a whole self-driving car project in 2009, and an autonomous driving technology company called Waymo became a subsidiary of Alphabet, and Google's self-driving project turned into Waymo. I may not have anything to say that would improve the current machines as <laughs> Well, I believe I would need an in-depth understanding of driverless cars. But I can say that detecting an obstacle, like the thick white edges of that lineless road, is awfully similar to how the robot's real-life counterparts work. It may not be obstacle sensors, sure, but my robot's ability to avoid places where it shouldn't go, plus without having to entirely depend on lines and strictly following these lines on the road, <laughs> I connected the dots, and my understanding of driverless cars was reinforced. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Now, Alicia, you're awfully compliant and cooperative with us. We've been tracking you down for nearly a year now. Tell us why. You're usually so stubborn. Hmm. Well, I don't think you would want to hear it. Excuse me? What the? Are you responsible for this? <laughs> well, your first mistake is not realizing that I'm always three steps ahead. 
was feeling generous and I thought I'd give you a lot of free triumph of victory. <laughs> Hasta la vista, baby. 